Hello everybody! So continuing our study of mathematics, in particular arithmetic, we now get into Roman notation. So let's go ahead and read what the textbook says. Expressing numbers by means of letters in Roman notation. For many years, the Roman system of notation was commonly used in Europe. The ancient Greeks also had a system of notation which employed the letters of the Greek alphabet. Both of these systems were awkward and of little use in making computations. The Arabic numerals were used first in India. The figure zero was lacking until about the 5th century. Its introduction added greatly to the usefulness of the system. Arabic notation was first used in Europe about the 12th century, having been brought there by the Arabs. It is now the prevailing system of notation through the civilized world. And that is it on the notes. So the, before we actually get into the explanation of how it works, why is it still good to know how to um, work with Roman notation? Well, um, you'll see it very often on a lot of more bureaucratic or um, like older, how to say it, older systems. Uh, you will still sometimes see Roman numerals. In fact, if you ever want to see the date that a film was uh, um, was uh, created, I believe, um, then it, that, that, that date is given as a Roman numeral. So little things like that, you know. Plus, you'll be that cool kid who knows how to uh, how to understand Roman notation. All right, so with that, let's get into how we actually understand Roman notation. So the Roman system of notation employs the following seven capital letters in expressing values. So what we would call I is 1, V is 5, X, 10, L, 50, C, 100, D, 500, and M, 1000. In combining these letters, the following principles are observed. A, so let's see here, A, repeat Repeating a letter repeats its value. So if you want x, it's just it's just uh, uh, one zero. Two x is twenty. Three x is thirty. When a letter follows one of the following value, uh, one of greater value, its value is added to the following value. So we read these left to right. If we have C being equal to 100 and L being equal to 50, if you have C L, then you read that as 150. When, and then our next value is C, uh, when a letter precedes one, yes, yeah, so B, and then C. When a letter precedes one of greater value, its value is subtracted from the greater value, e.g. C, uh, or for example, C is equal to 100, X is equal to 10, so if we have the smaller value or X in front of C, we end up with 90, take 10 away from C or take 10 away from 100. When a letter is placed between two letters of greater value, its value is subtracted from the sum of the two greater values. Okay, I'm gonna read that again. When a letter is placed between two letters of greater value, its value is subtracted from the sum of the two greater values. Therefore, if we have C being 100, X being 10, and L being 50, if we have C, X, L, we take C and L, add them together, we get 150, and then we put the X in between, and it had, and we subtract uh, 10 away from that value. The other way to look at it is that we read these numbers from left to right, so our our left hand value is always going to be um, it's always going to be the greatest value, and we will always look even further to the uh, to the left hand side to see how to mod uh, how to modify it. So if we have to take one away, we do that first, and then think of the value, and we just continue to read along as we go. So um, I'll actually show it in the in the example. The examples will make more sense than my explanation. Uh, and then a bar placed over a letter multiplies its value by 1000, e.g. xc is equal to 90, and then xc with a bar over the top is 90,000. So you, was, you would essentially, this would be times 10 to the third power, right? All right, so let's go ahead and read and express in Arabic numerals. Read and express in Arabic numerals. So let's go ahead and pull up our notes over here and of course I didn't write it down beforehand so I'll have to jump back and forth but let me see if I can have enough space here um there we go so what is our very first one number one 
is uh, IX, IX, okay. And number two, I'm going to go ahead and write down a few of these. So IX is, uh, um, so it was number one. Number two is XIII or X triple I. And obviously, I'm not saying it the way you would. Uh, if you see these Roman numerals, you immediately say it as a number. Um, but I'm just doing it so I don't give away the uh, give away the information. So let's do this whole first column. So one, two, three, and x. So three is x i x, and four is c c c. And uh, you should be copying these values on. I mean, if you're following along with your homework, then you should be copying these values down on your paper as we go. So c c c. C, 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 yes, 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 sorry. And then five is C, D, V, two, two, or uh, huh, there we go, C, I, I. So uh, there we go, C, C, D, V, I, I, C, D, V, I, I. Okay, so now let me go ahead and pull up the notes for you so you can see what I've written down and there we go. Okay. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the what these mean, right? So on our header, we'll do a little cheat here, okay? So, and this is actually good. If you're having to uh, work out your homework, no problem in doing uh, a little cheat up here. So x is equal to 1, um, or actually i first, right? So i is equal to 1, x is equal to 10, and what else have we got? Um, oh, v, I forgot v. So let's do v. So v is equal to 5, x is equal to 10, c, c, or l is next, and then c, so l is equal to 50, C is equal to 100. Uh, D is equal to 500. And M is equal to 1,000. So D is equal to 500. And M is equal to 1,000. So let me make sure you guys can see that. Oh, and my, my head is, uh, is covering the 1,000. So let me go ahead and erase M and put it down below. So D is equal to 500. You guys can see that, right? Yep, good. And M is equal to 1,000. M is equal to 1,000. All right, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and start working out these problems. So our rules, once again, are in combining, repeating a letter repeats its value, and when a letter follows one of greater value, its value is added. When a letter precedes one of greater value, its value is subtracted. So let's well, let's take a look at our first one, and we see that i is of less value than x, so therefore we need to take one away from x. So this in Arabic numerals is 9. And then this, uh, number two, this is our first rule, which is we have, actually, it's a combination of two rules and that we have three values uh, repeated. So therefore, they are added. So we end up with three because one plus one plus one is three. So three is then added. Uh, and um, our i values are uh, less than our x values. So therefore, it's uh, this sum of three is added to 10. And therefore, we end up with 13. All right, so now our next value. This was where we have two values uh, um, that are greater than the middle value. Or a, a, another way to look at it is just to read it from left to right. So we have, we have a value of 10, and then we have an i, but then we have another 10. So we first subtract the i from the 10, or the i from the x, giving us 9, and we add 9 to our 10, giving us 19. Or, as they say, if you take the sum, the sum of these two values, which would be 20, take one away, you end up with 19. All right, and then CCC, 
is uh, three, it, it's a repeating value, and that's 100. So therefore, we end up with 300. Number five, we have C, D, V, 1, 1. Well, we start at the left hand side and we see, okay, that, that's 100, but then we have D. Well, D is 500. So therefore, we first have to subtract one away from our, or we have to subtract C, our C value from our D value and then uh, write that down. And then we could write it out as we go along, but we'll just read it out all the way. So this would be 400 and then VII. Well, uh, our i our i th values are less than our v values, so we simply add that to our v value. So this would be 400, and then there's nothing in our tens place, and v uh, plus i i is seven. That's five plus two is seven. And I need to rewrite that seven to make it a little bit clear. There we go, 407. And number six now. What is number six? Number six, in fact, I'll go ahead and write down our next set of values. And there we go. So six is MDCC, MDCC, MDCC. And then seven is XV, XVI, I believe is, yes. And it, and it has a bar over the top. So we'll be able to practice writing that. And then eight is MCMIX, MCMIX. Nine is, uh, wait, MCMIX, okay. And then nine is MCMXI, MCMXI. So we just swap out the last two values. M C M X I. And if you guys are following along and uh, trying to work out these problems, by all means, as I'm writing out these uh, problems, if you can figure them out, uh, go ahead, be my guest. And then you can check your work at the, at the end and see if you are understanding the logic. So this is C L I I I. Okay. And let's go ahead and write these out. Okay, there. All right, make sure you guys can still see that. All clear, excellent. Okay, so number six, MDCC. Okay, so we have our M value, which is our highest value, and D is less than that. So we're simply going to add uh, 500 to 1,000, and then CC are the 100 values, so we add those to our 500, or our D value, giving us 700. So we first write 1,000, uh, so the 1,000th value has not been modified, but our, hundred, our hundreds value has been modified by adding 2 to the 500, so we end up with 1,700 or 1,700. Now, when we take a look at our value here, we have a bar written over the top, right? So that means that we have to, that means that we're going to have to add a thousand to this value. So we first write out the value and then we simply add our thousand and pardon the uh, lawnmower in the background. We'll charge right on, shall we? So we have uh, X V I. So that is 10 and then V I, that would be six. It's not the Vim editor, it's not the VI editor, this is the letter six. So we take our 10 and then we add six and then we're gonna add a thousand, which is simply adding three zeros. That's multiplying by a thousand. So XVI with a bar over it is 16,000. Eight is MCMIX. So we have our thousand and then we have a C and then M. So we're gonna take 100 away from our thousands, giving us 900. And then we have, so I'm gonna go ahead and start writing this out. We have 1,900 and then at one X, that is going to be nine. Take one away from our greater value. So you take the lesser value away from the greater value if it's on the left-hand side and write it as such. 1,909. 
our next value is going to be our same thousands and hundreds place. No change there. But let's take a look at our xi. So our greater value precedes our lesser value, meaning that we, act, we add 1 to that value. So the 10 is not modified at all. So our 10's place is 1, and then our 1's place is 1. 1,911. 1,911. Number 10, we have CLIII. So we take our C value, 100, and then our L value is 50. 50 is less than 100, so we add it. So C or L is added to C. And then our three I values are also less. And if I'm not mistaken, that's not the way you write uh, your I's. I should have known better. You normally... Normally, when you're writing Roman numerals and there are repeated values like the I, you uh, do your three ticks and then your your columns, if you will, your column and base are just struck across the entire thing. So you don't separate in between. But pardon me. All right. So in the future, I'll do better. So CLII, -I, we have 1, 000, oh, 150 and then 3. 153. 153. Very good. I hope you got those answers right. Now I'm going to... Oh, can I draw a line? Can I draw a line? Let me go ahead and strike a line down the center. Pardon me. You're going to see a little bit of the back-end workings of Zernal here. Fantastic little annotation software. I highly recommend it. It's open source. Excellent. And so we're going to draw a dashed line. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that fun? There we go. Good enough for school. Okay, so our next set of notes, uh, we have 10. And what is our next one? If you have the textbook, then you can go to write these out. Uh, DCXL is number 11. Oh, and I need to make sure I switch back to my pen. Don't want to be just writing lines. So this is, <laughs> see what I told you? So I need to switch back to freehand. Uh, actually, I just deselect that, and we should be good to go. So, F9, and now let's, now let's get to it. So, DCXL, number 11. Oh, I would just write dashed lines, shall I? Nah, that would be too, uh, too distracting. So, F9, switch back to standard. All right. Now let's get into it. <laughs> Pardon the distraction, folks. All right, so 11 is uh, DCXL. DCXL. 12, and I'm just going to write out the rest of these. So uh, LXXVII. I. So L double X V triple I. Double X, V, triple I. So that's the way that you normally write the I's. And then 13 uh, is X, C, V, X, C, V. 14 is uh, X, C, 1, V. X, C, 1, V. 15 is... CC, so double C, X, C, I. Double C, X, C, I. All right, so let's let's knock these out. All right, so we have D, C, X, L. So we take, uh, take a look at our D value, which is 500, and then our C value is 100. C is less than D, so we let it stand. We're going to add that value. And then X, L. So our hundreds place is going to be just 6. Uh, for 600 and then nothing oh, let's see we have xl xl so this we have x being less than l so therefore we have to subtract the value of x from l giving us 40 so this is 640 so dcxl is 640 uh, number 12 l x x v i i i well, we have L being 50 and then XX, so L is greater than X, so we're going to add the values of X to L, giving us 70. 
and then we have our v value is 5, and then 3i's, that would be 3. So 3 plus 5 is 8, 78. So lxxviii translates to 78. And our next one is xcvi. So c is 100, but x is in front of it. So we're going to take 10 away from 100, giving us 90. And then we have xcv, and v is 5, so we're going to have 95, 95, xcv. And then on 14, we have xciv, so once again, we have our 90, that much we know, and then we have one, oh, take one away from 5, 94, because our the lesser value, i, is in front of our greater value, v, so we have to subtract 94. And then our final one is CCXCI. So this is our uh, repeating values. So we're going to have 100 plus 100 is 200. And then we have this lesser value in front of our greater value. So for this one, we're going to take 10 away from C, which makes it 90. So we have 290. That's our first portion. So that's our hundreds and tens place. And then we have just a single i value at the end, giving us 1, 291. Fantastic. So that is our, that is our um, homework assignment for the first set. And we're going to go ahead and knock out number 23 as well on the homework because it's it's very short, and this is the reverse. So expressing the following num, uh, so expressing Arabic numerals in Roman numerals. So let me show you that quickly, and then we'll go ahead and knock out these problems. I hope this has been helpful for you. I know it's not it's not very common to use Roman numerals anymore, thank goodness. Uh, but it's still so. Hopefully, you pause the video and you can see all that because I'm going to delete it now. And, oh, come on now. Hope I don't, I don't want to lose my, my header. I want to leave that one so that you guys can, uh, so we can use it for working out our, our other um, pr projects. So let me go ahead and show you the section 23 is what we're going to be using, which is expressing Arabic numerals in Roman numerals. All right. So let's go ahead and start working those out. And I'm going to go ahead and copy all of these over. So. How many problems are there? There are 10 problems. So let's go ahead and label as many as we can here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Hey, all on the same line. Had to take a phone call. So let's go ahead and uh, start writing these out. So you remember our rules. Um, actually, I should write them. So Express the following numbers in Roman numerals. So we have eight. So number one is eight. Number two, 18. Uh, number three is 86. And number four is 44. So 18, 86, and 44. And then five is 83. Six is 93. Uh, 99. And seven is 64. So 83, 99, 64. 83, 99, 64, and 10 is, or an 8 is 110, 9, 237, and 10 is 550. 110, 237, 550. 110, 237, and 550. Okay, so let's go ahead and start translating these into Roman numerals from your Arabic numerals. All right, so eight, well, in order to uh, do this, we first need to extract our greatest value that can be gleaned from this number. And so we see that we can't use x because x is 10, so we have to go to five. So we first write our five, okay? And make sure I have enough room just in case I have to write on one side or the other. And then, so uh, we still have how many more values uh, in order to make up 
8. So 5, we need 3, right? Well, we don't have a Roman numeral that is 3, so we have to jump down one more, and we end up with I. And how many times do we need to repeat I in order to get 3? You're right. You guessed it. Three times. So V, I, I, I. Fantastic. Next one. 18. Okay, so for this one, we will need to have our greatest or our closest value, and it's going to be x again. Okay, so we have x, and we now need to determine, okay, we, let's see, if, what's the closest I could get to? I could have x, x, right, and that would be 20, and I need to take 2 away, from, I need to take 2 away from 20 in order to get 18. So once again, that idea of the summation, right? So if I have xx just by itself, that gives me 20. And in order to subtract values from that, I need to put them in between the two greater values. And if I have 10 minus 2, that gives me 8. So therefore, we have 20 minus 2 gives us 18. Very good. Next one. 86. So our greatest value that we can have is, um, it would be, oh, that's right. I take that back. Values in between, you can't have multiples of a value in between greater values. So I'm, my mistake, I'm sorry. On this one, we actually need to simply write X, V, I, I, I. That's one rule. I don't think they mention it in the notes, but you can't have multiples in between uh, numbers of greater value. Yeah, it's a letter singular, okay? So um, it, you can subtract one. You can subtract those multiples, but you cannot have uh, uh, um, repeating values in between values of greater... Or, you cannot have repeating lesser values in between uh, greater values. It's one of the rules, okay? So with that in mind, that's X, V, I, 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 okay? And then 86. So this one we have our closest is uh, L or 50. And so we go ahead and write that down. And then we have, we still need three more. So we would have to have, x, x, right, x, to give us, um, to give us our 80, right, there we go, so now we're at 80, 50 plus 3x's is 80, and then we have v, i, v, i, so L, X, 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 V, I gives us 86 because 50 plus three tens gives us 80. And then V plus one, uh, V plus I gives us six, 86. And is there really another way that we could do that? Well, not, not legally. Uh, I'm, for instance, it would be closer for us in order to have um, X or to have C uh, and then xx in front of it, but we can't do that because we can only have one value on the left-hand uh, side, right? So 44, well, this one actually is going to be helpful because we have 50, um, which is L, and in order to reduce it by, uh, by a magnitude of 10, we would put an x in front. There's our 40. And then the same thing for 4. We have our v, which is our 5 value, and then if we put an I in front of it, we reduce it by 1. So this is 44, XL1V, or XLIV. 83, so this is going to be, we have 86 and 83, so once again we have our L value, and then we follow that by 3 X's, that's our 80, and then 3 is going to be 3 I values, 83. 99. So this is going to be our C value and then an I in front. We take one away. We subtract one from. Can we do that? I really ought to know, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I am. 
I think we can just take one. Uh, do they, is there anything in the rules? When a letter is placed in between, when a letter precedes one of greater value, its value is subtracted from the greater value. So there is no, there is no reason, there's no logic in here about somehow not, we're not allowed to put that value because otherwise, Otherwise, what's what's our alternative? We would have to have um, 50. What would that be? It would be 5. It would be L, X, 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 4 X's, and then 4 X's. Hmm. Oh, let's see. No. Because we could have L, L1L, because that would be 50 plus 50 minus 1. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to, I'm going to go with the notion that we can put a single value in front of another one, even if they're not in order. So you see how those are, are, are those in, they're increasing by, you know, from lesser to greater. Um, and something is telling me that we're not allowed to do, we're not allowed to jump in our position so like for instance we have an we have an sc and i jump all the way down to the ith va uh, value in order to uh subtract one i don't know if we're allowed to do that because we could also rewrite this we, we could write this as l and then we take one away from what would that be it would be l x l that would give us our 90 and then 9 would be ix, lxl, 1x. And that is, you see each of those. Hmm. You know what? Let's, let's take a look at one of our other problems. And this actually will be instructive to demonstrate if we're allowed to do this or not. So you remember how our very first problem, number one, notice here we have ix. Well, according to the logic that I'm thinking, it would we would not be allowed to write ix because you've jumped in values. You've jumped over your v value and now you're in your i value. But it's legitimately written here. So that means that we can do the same and jump multiples, multiple positions. So um, and you try and write it in as uh, concise a way as possible. So based on the rules that they've given us and based on the example that they gave us, I am going to assume that we can also write 99 as our first value of IC because we simply took 100, subtracted 1, giving us 99. Okay. I would tend to think that when you're writing numbers, especially uh, in you know, because these were actually used at at you know in in commerce in writing in in writing, uh, you would probably choose to write the most concise uh, form with the briefest amount of information. So with that in mind, we're going to say that is I C. If someone knows better in the comments, please leave that because uh, I would I would love to know if I'm wrong. OK, so now we go into 64. So we for this one, we take 50. And we add one. Uh, so we uh, 50 and we need to add 10. So that's X. So we have L. X and then we take four. So that's we take our V value, which is five and we subtract one. So we have to put an I before the v so x l x i v 110 so c and x we simply add the value of c to x and we end up with 110 237 so this one is uh, we're going to have multiples of c so that's going to be c c and then three uh 37 is going to be x x so triple x triple x and then seven is going to be V. Oh, 
let's not get fancy with our tails just yet. So V and then V I I. So triple or so double C triple X V double I. Okay. 550. So we get our to use our D value and our L value. This is very simple. This is just D L. All right. So that uh, that uh, covers our that covers our uh, Roman numerals, um, and that's all we're going to be covering for today. So next week, we get into addition, I believe. Yep. So addition using Roman numerals. And thank goodness we don't have to, I'm pretty sure that we don't have to cover, um, I'm, just, I'm just looking through the textbook right now, but uh, we don't have to cover the addition and subtraction of Roman numerals. They did do such a thing. Um, and I'm not seeing it. So thank goodness for that, because that is actually very difficult. And that's one reason why uh, the why um, uh, countries were so quick to adopt the Arabic system of notation, because it makes your uh, arithmetic much simpler, much simpler. So uh, I mean, you may not think that it, if you struggle with with addition, but just imagine how difficult it would be if you had to do it with the Roman uh, notation system. So with that in mind, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Um, if you like this video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.